This video revises what are called identities and this is where we have a left hand side and a right hand side and the two things are identical. And the question is, is what's the value of A and the value of D to make the left hand side equal to the right hand side? Now my advice is, given this, is to actually expand the left hand side where possible. So I've got a 5x and I've got an 8. Now 3 times x is 3x and 3 times minus d is minus 3d. And the right hand side is 18x plus 14. And again these three lines mean that both sides need to be identical. And the trick here is to look at the x terms first of all. So if we look at the x terms, I've got a 5a and a 3 on the left hand side and I've got an 18 on the right hand side. So I've sort of ignored the x's but there's a 5a and a 3 on the left hand side and there's an 18 on the right hand side. So to find a, I just need to solve this equation. Well, 5a plus 3 is 18. This means that 5a must equal 15. If I take away 3, then divide by 5, a must equal 3. And to check that, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 gives me 18. Now for d, I look at just the number terms. There's an 8 and a minus 3d and this has got to equal the 14. So 8 take away 3d must equal 14. So this minus 3d must be plus 6 because 8 plus 6 is 14. So if minus 3d equals 6 then d has got to equal minus 2 because minus 3 lots of minus 2 equals 6. And to check that, minus 3 times minus 2 is 6 and 8 plus 6 does indeed equal 14.